noted lawyer Indra Jai Singh's NGO Lawyers Collective has had its license suspended for six months by the Home Ministry uh, because of alleged uh, violation of the Foreign Contribution Regulation Act or the FCRA. Let's go across first now to Ms. Jai Singh who is uh, joining us on The Breakfast Show. Ms. Jai Singh, you received a notice from the Home Ministry suspending your license. You've been asked to submit your reply within 30 days, they say, for violation of various provisions of the SCRA. Were you surprised? What's your reaction? Uh, well, to be honest with you, I was not surprised except that the timing is surprising. On the 29th of May, I had participated in a panel discussion for the release of Rana Ayub's book. And one of the things I had commented on there was the fact that the party president of the BJP, uh, Mr. Amit Shah, had been discharged by a court in Bombay and that we, some of us, Anand Grover, had uh, challenged that in court. Now, I have uh, good reason to believe that we are being victimized for the legal work that we have done uh, in courts of law in our capacity as lawyers. So if you ask me whether I'm surprised, I think there's a pattern to the way this government is behaving, not just with me, but with anybody who chooses to challenge uh, their policies. Uh, yes, uh, the timing is of course very interesting because on the 22nd of November 2015 when we first uh, heard of such a notice, it was the very day in, on which Anand Grover was appearing in the High Court of Bombay uh, against Mr. Amit Shah. So it's nothing but an attempt to intimidate and by the way, one correction, the Lawyers Collective has not yet received the notice. It's been released to the press and it's been put up on the website before it could be served on us. All right. So all this amounting to intimidation we have uh, from the BJP Mr. G GVL uh, Narsimha Rao also joining us. Sir, you heard what Ma'am Jai Singh is saying. Basically what they're saying that it's well known that Anand Grover, Indira Jai Singh have represented various persons as lawyers in cases against the government, especially now talking about a case that involves the BJP party president Amit Shah and Ms. Jai Singh is saying these are intimidation tactics by the government. What is your response and what do you have to say about the timing of this? Uh, I think these are the same tactics that the Congress party employs every time allegations of corruption and proof of corruption uh, surfaces and the uh, uh, Congress leadership is found to be in the fault. Uh, Ms. Indira Jai Singh is conveniently ignoring the, uh, the, the questions that have been raised here. How was she, she was clearly uh, uh, indulging in his, her injury. Sir, I will respond to that. Practices. Yes, ma'am, so well, I, I will give you a first? chance. Can I finish first, please? Yes, sir, please go let ahead. Me, let, me, let me complete my statement. I think from the, from the information that is available in public domain, she had received a, a nearly about 96 lakh rupees from this NGO as one of its uh, uh, trustees uh, while she was continuing as the ASG with the government of India. So this, the entire funds were used for personal aggrandizement. The funds were used for political campaigns. Uh, uh, being in the company of the Congress party and uh, fighting uh, in cohorts with them does not give them the license to manipulate uh, governmental uh, regulations. They, as an NGO, they are, entire, they are expected to follow the same guidelines that are applicable to all NGOs vis-a-vis -vis Sir, foreign Sir, may I please respond? I yes, ma'am, I'm coming across to in a few seconds. If, right. they are not in the, if they are not in the wrong, they can contest this. All right. Their reply all right. to the government was found to be unsatisfactory. Yes. They have no yes. explanation to offer except to throw some political mark. Well, let's ask ma'am for an explanation. Sir, let's ask ma'am Jessing for an explanation. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes. The, the BJP uh, sir, claiming uh, that you use these forest respond, funds please? for... Yes, ma'am, the question may is to you. The BJP claims that you use these forest, um, foreign funds for personal yes. use or political use. What's your response? Uh, do you have uh, receipts and actual, you can prove where these funds were used? Yes. Now, the first thing is the problem with the gentleman who just uh, made his statement is that he's responding to you on the basis of newspaper reports. One thing is obvious, he has not read the uh, Foreign Contribution Act itself and he doesn't know the law. Now, the law states explicitly that a public servant cannot accept 
foreign funding. He needs to know that I was never ever uh, a government servant. The law says a government servant can't accept foreign funding. He needs to know that an additional solicitor general is not considered a government servant. Secondly, he also needs to know that none of our funders have complained that the funds given to us were not used for the purpose for which they were meant. They in the notice are complaining about things like the fact that Mr. Grover appeared in the Novartis case in the Supreme Court. We are proud of the fact that he appeared in the Novartis case. It is the one case which has done more for the right to health than any but other case in this country. You're saying none of your funders have complained that the money given the to you was, life -saving was used for, it was improperly yeah. used. Yeah, but that yes, is not, never. that's no reason minute, for the government not to investigate never, on its own. Never, never, never complained. But that, ma'am, that's yes, not a reason for the government not me. to step in on we its own been, if there has been any wrongdoing. I'm not saying you, there has will you, been. Will you allow me to answer, please? Will you allow me to yes, answer? Yes, please go ahead. I, I agree it is not a good enough government reason for the government to investigate. But the government has done an investigation. They were given unrestricted access to our accounts. And let me tell you, the word corruption is not used in the notice which they have put up on the website. You can go and use it. There is no allegation that we have misappropriated money. I don't know from where he's picking these uh, things up, these words up. I right. would strongly advise him to go to his own website and read the notice. There right. is Mr. no Rao, such last allegation. Word, last word to the you. allegation is that Jaising we appeared is in saying the there's no use of the word corruption in this, uh, in this notice, in this move by the government. So then is it not just intimidation? Oh, Mr. Is there anything oh, really strong that you I, have I against see, them? I, I, you see, I'm, I'm speaking on this issue because only political allegations are being made. If she restricted to only her NGOs functioning, I, I, there was no need for me to make a political comment. But the reality is she is not answering. Was it a, a profiteering venture? How was 96 lakh rupees paid to her? This is in the notice. They have not contested this. Sarah, we have answered to the government to of India. And, 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 I don't need to answer this can I, gentleman can I, can on I your show. You cannot, you cannot go with simply one view. I think, Please uh, tell him Ms. to Sinjana read Jay my answer. To All right. To the fact. All right, we've I gotten, think the, I think our viewers have gotten both sides of the yes, story right now. But uh, as Mr. Rao, what Ma'am Jessing is saying, she can was I not just, a government I, servant, so this would not apply to her or to Lawyers Collective. Thank you both for your time. I think our viewers have gotten at least uh, one look at both sides to this story. Thanks so much.